teachers and parents of Primrose Hill School. Welcome to our question time session. We would like to introduce you to our panel. Okay, I'm the chair, I'm Nick Anderson. I work for the participation team at Birmingham City Council and it's been my pleasure and an honour to work with Ayla, Nice, Desiree, Charmaine, who have been fantastic um, so far. <laughs> I'm Councillor Randall Group. I'm a councillor for Northfield Ward. I've been a councillor now for six years. I'm a member of the Conservative Party and together with Councillor Sue Anderson, I'm a former Lord Mayor. And we have a future Lord Mayor, I'm sure, in Councillor Karen Hamilton yeah. as well. My name is Karen Hamilton and I represent Perry Bar Ward, which is in the north of Birmingham, it's towards Warsaw. If any of you have heard of Scott Arms, it's in that area that, that, um, that I represent. And I'm a Liberal Democrat and I've been a councillor now for five and a half years. I'm Councillor Sue Anderson. I represent Sheldon um, and that is very close to the airport. In fact, some of my properties, if you stand on the balcony, you can watch the planes taking off, which is really good. Um, I've been a councillor, and I can't remember how long, but I think it's 22 years. Um, it feels like a lifetime. And um, I have also been a teacher in my past life, and I was a maths teacher um, in a comprehensive school for 31 years. What persuaded you to leave the council in the first place, and do you think you're doing a good job? Wow, that's great. Who's that to? Like <laughs> <laughs> Who's that to? Thank you. What persuaded me to be a councillor in the first place? It might be something that persuades you to be councillors in the future. In 19... Uh, oh, 19... I'm frozen to death. <laughs> in the early 1970s, I was living in a road called Winchester Gardens on Quarry Lane, Northfield. And my son went to Turbs Green Junior School. And there was a road safety problem at the railway bridge down the bottom of Quarry Lane. And a group of us got together and we, took, we got a petition and we had a word with our local councillor. And he presented the petition on our behalf. And I was delighted that as a result of the petition and his work, we actually got it some improvement. But there's always the other side of the coin, because when he'd done that, he said to me, Randall, he said, would you like to join us and help us? And I was delighted to do so. And I said, what does it involve? And he said, it doesn't involve much. And that's the biggest lie I've ever heard. <laughs> but I enjoy, I've enjoyed it. Do I think I'm doing a good job? I leave that up to other people to judge. And, uh, I'm standing for election in May, and the, the electorate in Northfield will decide whether I'm doing a good job. The question, there's a lot of underage drinking on the estate. What is the council doing to stop it? Who would like to answer that one? Um, one of the things that we, do, that, that we do as a council, under licensing I think it is, that they go out and they do checks to make sure that the shops that sell alcohol are only sending it to people that are old enough to buy alcohol, people that are over 18. So that's one of the things we do. But also we work alongside the police. I mean, if the police see people underage drinking, they'll take the alcohol away and speak to them and say they shouldn't be drinking alcohol. So those are two things I can think of. Maybe the other two councillors might know something else that's done. We've got another question from Miss Clark, teacher here. Everything that was born in Birmingham is being taken away. Should the government have acted on the sales of I'm sure they should, but it's whether yeah. they could. Yeah. It's, it's the question. I, I come from Northfield, where we had MG Road and Austin Bunch Company, so this is very close to my heart. I grew up in that area. And I think we live in a world economy now, and with Padbury, we have to recognise that 60% of the company now, for the tech company, is owned by people in the United States of America. And so they have bought it. I think it is important to own businesses, and we own a lot of businesses abroad, British people have invested abroad. And I think the important thing from a Birmingham point of view is actually to have the resource here, the factory and the manufacturing, that creates the jobs and creates the wealth. And I think that's what we need to protect. I don't think we can win on ownership, um, for the reasons that I've stated, because we, um, it works both ways. But we need to make sure 
that the, the, the business stops here. And how does the government help that? It makes it the, the country as a whole an attractive place for people to invest mm -hmm. and remain in business. So would you say then, um, I mean I used to work at Rogue on the South, right. um, would you say then it's just inevitable that it's a kind of international market now and... It is an international market mm -hmm. and I don't like it, I, I prefer to see it owned in, in the United Kingdom, but as I said, we own a lot of assets and companies in countries all around the world and so mm -hmm. it, it is you have to look at the larger picture. So at a local level, there are things the City Council can do. For example, when a new store is being built or when the ball ring was developed, it was possible for us to ensure that many of those jobs went to local people. So we've got limited powers, but whatever powers we have got, we do try to use them in that very positive way. Um, and there's an example, uh, this was over a few years ago, where um, a housing association, the city council, formed a partnership uh, with one of the colleges uh, where they were teaching building school skills. And we had a group of young people in their 20s who wanted their own home. And they went through the training and they actually, with help and supervision, built their own homes, um, which was absolutely tremendous. I'd love to see more of that. But in a recession, you know, we get quite so much more of that. Once we're out of a recession, you can see projects like that where people build their own homes, own their own homes, and then have skills so that when the uh, building trade starts to pick up, we've got local people with those skills who can then produce uh, and who can then build in Birmingham. Yeah. They were indeed, and I mean we're, we're listening to the citizens of tomorrow, and, um, and I see young people like this in an audience like this. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's important that they understand the interaction they can have with the world around them, and especially with politics, because a lot of people think that you have to be a volunteer to be able to influence what's happening in the council, you should be reaching out to everyone, and I was just really impressed with the quality of the questions. It's also about showing respect to young people and appreciating that they have viewpoints, uh, they have opinions, and they've really got something very, very positive to offer to their own communities, to their schools, and to everyone's way of life.